What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first XHTML and CSS tutorial. Now in case you're like, yeah, I accidentally clicked this video. I don't even know what XHTML is, so I'm just gonna exit. Well, hold on just a second, let me explain. XHTML and CSS is the language that you use in order to create sweet websites. So I'm gonna assume that none of you guys have ever created a website before, or maybe you did with a program like Dreamweaver and you wanted to know more in depth how to create a website. Well, in this tutorial series, I'm gonna take you from total noob to total expert web designer. We're going to be covering all the basic concepts and also some pretty advanced stuff so stick with me and by the end of these videos you're going to be an excellent web designer. So first let me show you guys an example of what XHTML is. Go ahead and open up your web browser. Hopefully you're using Google Chrome because it's the best in my opinion and go ahead and right click anywhere on the page and click view page source. Now a new screen opens and it's all this computer mumbo jumbo that we really don't know what it is. This is actually mostly XHTML and CSS. All these little symbols and all these little class equals whatever, all this little crap. We can't under... What the heck? Do you guys hear that siren? It's like a big fire going on behind me. Anyways, I get easily distracted. So, anyways. By the end of these tutorials, you're going to be learning what all of this stuff means right here. And you're going to be learning how to take this code and turn it into, right here, a beautiful website. Entrepreneurs who create the corporate world. Hmm, going to have to check that out later. Like I said, I get easily distracted. But anyways, check it out. The first thing that we need in order to create sweet websites is actually a program on our computer called a text editor. And with this text editor, we can type in some code and we can turn it into something that looks pretty cool to a browser and a browser is pretty much a program like Firefox or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome it's the program that shows websites so anyways like I said the first thing we need is a text editor now you actually don't need to download anything if you have Windows you have a program on your machine called Notepad so go ahead and open this and look at this you can actually create websites and type XHTML code in here but I mean, look at this. Can they make a program that's any more boring? Seriously, black and white, and it has like two options. What the heck? So anyways, I'm going to recommend not to use Notepad, and I'm going to recommend an even better program. The best program that you can use in order to type XHTML and CSS is called Notepad++. Now, if you're going to do any serious coding or web design I highly recommend getting this program and best of all it's free so go ahead and go to Google and I'll show you how to get it go ahead and type in notepad plus plus hit enter and click on the first link that pops up this is notepads website now look for a link that says download and well your website may change depending on when you're watching the tutorial but click download the current version and now you see a bunch of different options right here zip package binary the one you want is the installer it's pretty much a nice easy wizard to guide you through the installation so go ahead and click that and now you're gonna have a file that downloads on your computer go ahead and save this and it's gonna download and it just downloads so if you're using Google Chrome go ahead and double click that and say do you want to allow yes you want to allow it so now let's go ahead and select English unless you're you know foreign or something if so then how the heck are you understanding me right now but anyways go ahead and click OK and I'm not gonna read that because I'm way too lazy press next I agree probably just sound my life away but big deal I'll get over it click next to this all the defaults look good and press install now it's gonna go ahead and install in your system right now and then make sure you have run notepad actually don't click that and make sure you hit finish. So now you have Notepad++ installed on your computer and here's what I'm going to recommend. Go ahead and make an icon for it right on your desktop because you're going to be using it quite a bit. In order to make an icon on your desktop, and this isn't only with Notepad but any program, go ahead and click your little Windows button right there and click all programs. Now you should have a folder called Notepad++. If you expand this, you're going to have an application in here called Notepad++. This is the program that we just downloaded. 
So if you want to turn this into an icon on your desktop, go ahead and right click it and press send to desktop. This is going to go ahead and create an icon or a shortcut right on your desktop. So now it's a lot easier than having to go through this thing. So now go ahead and double click this and open it and bam. Look at that. How beautiful is this? A brand new program in order to type XHTML and CSS and best of all it's free. How sweet is that? So anyways that's all I'm going to teach you guys for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we're actually going to be typing some code and making our very first website but for now I just want to tell you guys download this program get everything set up and if you have any questions or anything goes wrong just leave a comment below and someone's bound to help you or if you have any questions you can check out my website thenewboston.com and uh, send me a message or go to my forum I can help you there but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later